Alley Cats and you viewers. So in today's Spotlight Sunday, I wanted to talk about The White Queen. The White Queen was a miniseries that debuted in 2013 on Stars, and I clearly, vividly remember seeing the advertisements when it first came out and being amazed at the poster, which you'll see floating over here. But I just remember being so grabbed by that image, but I didn't have Stars at the time. And I finally watched it, and oh my freaking gosh, this series is fantastic. If you are a fan of Game of Thrones, of Outlander, of historical fiction, you will adore The White Queen. The White Queen follows three women, Lady Elizabeth Grey, and Neville, and Margaret Beaufort, as they all vie for the throne of England in the 1480s, and it's just such a captivating show. It's got, of course, people vying for the throne, like Game of Thrones, it's got sex, you see boobs, and it's got romance, like Outlander, and it's set in a beautiful location. But it's also got amazing performances. Rebecca Ferguson as Lady Elizabeth is a powerhouse. This was before she became well known in Mission Impossible Rogue Nation, but she was so good in this series. She just makes you love her, and even when she does shitty things, you love her anyway. And Max Irons is so good as King Edward, and at first, you just fall in love with him instantly because he's, one, really super duper handsome, and two, he's just so charming and charismatic. And as the series goes along, even as his charm and charisma fade and you start to see who he really is, you still feel an attachment to him. And that's a major accomplishment on Max Irons' part because this character could have easily come off being seen as a prick or as a womanizer or as a tyrant, but you actually care about King Edward. And there are also some amazing performances from James Frain and Janet McTeer. Everyone else in the series is great as well, but those are the standouts. And I just can't say enough great things about the series. Like I said, the acting is amazing. It's a beautiful miniseries, and it's so compelling. That even though there are so many different storylines going on, they all mesh together very well, and it just makes it so captivating. Because even though you kind of know who is going to take the throne because of history, you do pick a side. I picked a certain side knowing that they wouldn't win the throne, but you do choose sides with this series because you become invested with one of the families. It's a very detail-oriented series. The costumes are elaborate, they're true to the time period, they're gorgeous, but this show, every little thing, every little detail is intricate and it means something. Nothing was spared. Everything is just beautiful and gorgeous, true to date, and I was just drooling over the jewelry and the gowns because, oh gosh, it was so beautiful. And plus, it also had action, which I really loved. It had battle scenes, it had blood and gore and viscera. It had childbirth, which was gory and realistic. It had the blood I needed as well because I need both really fantastic couture and acting and beautiful locations, but I also need me some blood and gore and violence. It gives you all of that. And it's just such a fantastic series that I think so many people overlooked. It's sequel spin-off, The White Princess is currently airing on Stars, so that's why I watched The White Queen in preparation for it and <sighs> kicking myself for not watching it sooner. It's so compelling. If you are a fan, like I said, of Game of Thrones Outlander, you will love The White Queen. I promise you, you'll be addicted to it. I finished it in three days. It's just it's top-notch entertainment and it did not get the love it deserved when it first debuted. So watch The White Queen immediately if it sounds like something you would enjoy. If you like this video, leave a like. If you've seen The White Queen or read the books that the show is based on, let me know down below in the comment box. And if you like the video, make sure to share it because that's my channel grow. And if you're not subscribed yet, but you like what you've seen and heard, hit my face over here and it'll sub you to my channel. Also, make sure you hit that notification bell down there so you can join the Alley Cat Notification Squad where you get extra cool brownie points that make you a cool cat. And if you'd like to follow me on social media sites, they're all listed down below in the description box. I literally have almost every single social media imaginable, so follow me on everything. Also, please refer to me as the White Queen now because I feel like it's applicable to my name. No, you don't have to call me that. I love you guys, though. Thank you so much for watching. Peace and kisses. Bye.